Okay, play me the song. All right. Okay, I hope he's um. Okay, give me volume. Hey, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? You like the rap too? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's what happening? You I'm so glad that I'm on now. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Good, cool. beautiful, beautiful. So, okay, beautiful, beautiful. let's. Uh, we know that your name is Moses Fields, right? Right. That's my birth name. Okay, so let's have a formal introduction of you. Who are okay. you? <laughs> okay. I'd like to thank everybody for allowing me. My name is Moses Aaron Fields. I'm from Philadelphia, PA, USA. Uh, my stage name is Cosimo Better, uh, R&B singer, writer, composer, performer, entertainer. Uh, love people. Love the world. Uh, if there's any too much more you guys need to know, just ask me. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is not enough. All right. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank for you for having me. Honoring my invitation. Thank you for All right, having so, me. So, um, Moses. Okay, your stage name is Cosimo Better, right? Cosimo Better. Yes. Yes. Okay, it used to be. To, you are going to. And it to, used to be. It used Sir? to be called Cozy Mo. It used to be called Cozy Mo. So okay. when you see the name, when you see the name Cozy Mo, it's a, uh, uh, it's Cozy Mo Better too. I just changed my name from Cozy Mo to Cozy Mo Better. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, a whole lot of artists. Um, the same thing happened to a whole lot of people in the industry. Um, they upgrade, they rebrand. All right, so. Uh, you're a musician, right? Uh, yes, 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 yes. I play. I play a little bit of keyboard. Uh, you know, us writers have to know how to play keyboard. You got to know the notes and the keys. You know, okay. you got to know the tempo, the music. All right. So, what's your growing up like? Were you born in Philadelphia, or you were born somewhere else? You grew up no, in my I, I, I was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um. My daddy was from your, Tuskegee, Your Alabama. audio is low. Can you can you increase the volume a bit? Yes, I can. Yep. Okay. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Can Can you hear me better? Okay. Yeah. I was born and ra I was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. My father was from My father was from Tuskegee, Alabama. My mom was from Jersey. But yes, oh, okay. I was born and raised here. You know, a lot of people say I sound like I have an accent. I guess because oh. I, I meet a lot of people and I do a lot of traveling sometimes. Okay. 
Amazing. All right. So you you school there. You did you did everything there. You started your music career there, and you are still there right now in your location, right? Yes. 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 Uh. I still have a lot more stuff that I would like to do in this music industry. Um, but I've done some great things in this music so far. Okay, so when did you start doing music professionally? I um uh, okay, uh I'm gonna take it back uh from coming from a childhood. Uh okay. once upon a t once upon a time, people mm -hmm. thought I was gonna be a basketball star. Because wow. that's what people had known me from. Um, oh. before I really translated myself into the music industry. Uh, I was raised up with a basketball in my hand. Uh, I, took, I took singing and music was from my mother and my brother. I had a brother who was a musician. He played drums. And my mom always liked to sing when she went to church. So music was something that always had been in my heart. But coming up as a child people always thought I was going to be a basketball player because when people see me as a childhood to my teenage y'all, they only see me with a basketball. They didn't know that I wanted to become a singer. You know, um, basically that's what critters come in at. Uh, if you listen to the song, I told you from the start, music is my heart. You know, that's in the lyrics of critters. So basically critters give you a little experience about my life coming through this music industry because like i said once upon a time people thought i was going to be a basketball star because that's what people see me do as coming up as a child but uh, like i said music been in my life since the age of 10 because michael jackson was my idol as a child oh. and, uh, uh, yeah uh yeah michael jackson was my idol that was my biggest idol but like i said who inspired me was my mother and my brother, but my idol was was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Wow. Kudos yeah. to Mama. <laughs> yeah, I play. I played a lot. Of, I played a lot of sports coming up as a child. So that's what I was more or less uh, introduced to coming up with sports. So music was something that God put inside me. <clears throat> um, it was a feeling that I've always visioned when I was ten years old when I seen my mother and I seen my brother and Michael wow. Jackson, I always said, this is what I want to do in life. But other folks didn't see that from my vision. So I had to take it upon myself and trust in God to give me this talent to spread it to the world one day, which he did. So um, I thank God for that. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, really? yeah. Uh, um, hey, Johnny, yeah. you've come so far. So is your, is your brother still in the music? Uh, he, he doesn't play like he used to, uh, I guess because of the, the situations that condition as you get older by being a drummer. You know, um, man, he was into heavy. He, he played very hard. He played with this group called Chapter One. Um, they was a major group back in the day. Um, at the city of Philadelphia. They did some stuff on the outskirts too. But nah, my, I don't think my brother plays anymore, but he still enjoys and loves everything that I have accomplished because he see the reflection what he have done and embedded into me. You know, so I think, you know, it, it was a great joy that he does see that, you know, really. Okay. That, that means that Starting off, you have your family support. You know, everyone supports you from the family, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, my mother, um, yeah, my sister, my brothers. Yeah, you know, they support, you know, um, to the most of point. I can't say that they don't. Uh, you know, you got a lot of people that support you. But, yeah, my family definitely behind me with this music, you know. Because um, once they find out how you're really into this, then you're going to get a great a lot of support from a lot of people. But yes, my family support me in this. Okay, beautiful. Thank, th thanks to family for their support. So right now, let's just go straight to the music business in USA and okay. your view, the world view. 
not okay. not limiting your view only to USA and then Africa, but the whole world and the market. I okay. Yeah. Uh, right. In my, America. For, hello. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Can you hear me? In America, coming up in the industry, how is it like? Is there structure like this? Is where you want to count before you count the next structure like you have to count a before counting b before counting d before just like there are procedures why i'm asking is that from our own society our own market here in africa it seems that the structure is you you build your own structure and you run with it but yeah. in the united states of america is it the same you as an artist uh, do you run your own label or there are steps you are climbing let me say this. Um, in the USA, I, I guess, uh, from my perspective, <laughs> excuse me, in this music industry, yeah, there are steps. I guess there's different levels that okay. can take you to the next level. Um, okay. There's different people that you get involved with that may can take you to the next level. Um, oh. And then you may find some people that may just take you for who you are. Um, for me, I'm going to speak upon myself as far as coming up in this business. It was very hard. It was hard. It was, it, it was extremely hard. Why? Because you have to get people to believe in you. That's number one. Uh, no matter what level that you are, you have to get people to believe in you. And people that believe in you, I guess it gives you more confidence that you believe in yourself. And when yeah. you believe in yourself that you know you can do this, you really don't be, you don't really care what other people do or how they feel. So, like I said, there's different levels that people take you to through this music, especially in the USA, because you got to have a certain sound. Uh, you got to have a certain beat. Um, Sometimes you got, again, you got to have a certain people that you know. And I don't think that should be good. I think you should just go based on the talent. And the, uh, the, I feel it's like if you got the talent to develop to that next level, you should not be judged from the beginning. Because, again, there's levels to this, to this music industry. Uh, for some people might not have the right facility. Some people may not have the right studio to go to. Um, it's easy. It's more excess here in the, in the USA than it is in your country. I know that it is. Um, which is, I think, is wrong for you guys to have to go through the stuff that y'all have to go through because y'all have outstanding music. Uh, just by looking at you the other day, looking at your your mobility of movements of being an artist. I looked at your style. Your style reminds me of my style. And you're a woman. And that's crazy that I've seen my style and another person in nationality that is crazy. I've seen you and me. And that was like, wow. She moves like I do on stage. She got some of the same movements that I do on stage. So the level that I had to go through and the level that you had to go through, you shouldn't have to suffer to, um, to take it to another level. Um, because like I said, I've seen you and me, and I've never seen another artist of my own style until I've seen you. And this is okay. honestly God truth. Um, your movement, your uh, enthusiasm on stage, how you hold the mic, how you take your little dances. You remind me of me. You look like me moving. This was, this was blowing my mind the other day when I seen your performance. I've oh, never seen my... another. No, yes. Um, like I said, this must be something that's really outstanding about this interview because this interview is more than just an interview. Uh, it really is. And I need to let you know that. I seen your style, my style, and that's crazy. 
Um, but yeah, again, I, I, I had to just throw that in because it was something that since in my whole career, I've never seen another artist that looks like me. I perform like okay, me. Okay, all right. Okay. Or move like yeah, me. Right. Um, okay. It's like we've been in the same room looking at each other's steps. <laughs> and that's not right. Yeah. And, wow. So, again, like I said, uh, in the States, it's a different level that you have to reach to prove to people. Um, all right. Like I Thank, said, you one very. Thing. Thank you. Thank you to the, uh, for the extensive explanations and the whole highlights you have yes. given and thank you for your compliments i really appreciate it okay well, so the truth. You, you've been in the industry um do you have album yes i i have um ep and i have okay. singles out i have no album yet um a lot of a lot of the folks have been asking me when am i going to cut an album Ask okay, when it, when, when, it, when it comes to music business in United States of America, you, you produce your sound like you write. Are you a songwriter? Do you write your songs? I write all my lyrics. I write everything. Okay, you write yeah. all your lyrics. You go to a studio. You have a producer that produces your song. After that, how do you generate income? Do you generate income immediately from radio plays? or downloads, or you put them out for no. free? No, what, you, what, what no, no. There? Okay, what, I, I, you have to, okay. Let me say this. It costs money to be caught, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get to a certain life in your music industry, once you start branding yourself, um, yes, you have to start getting royalties. And as far as you getting royalties, you have to pitch your music in distribution. Um, that's just like if you put a brand in the store. Um, you can give out some free stuff. Um, but the thing is, like I said, when you get to a certain level in the music industry, everything can't be free. Um, no more. Um, so it's your copyrights. Once you copyrights, you get it in distribution. And you get royalties. And... You could get stream plays, you get performance plays, but the most important thing is you want to register yourself in order for you to get paid for what you're putting out. Um, you're supposed to, because like if you walk in the store and you see a soda or uh, soda pop in there, they're not going to get that to you free, right? No. They're not, right. So it's the same way with your music. Once you get to a certain level, you have to be paid for your service or for Definitely. your product. I agree with you 100%. When you get to certain level, um, you have to be paid for your service because right. your content is your business. Right, because, um, like I said, once you get branded to you, once you get a brand, once you brand yourself, yeah, you're now a license to be royalty, to have royalties, to get money for what your service is. Um, this is only right. Um, do get some people to give out free CDs. Um, okay, okay. Right now, um, as an artist, you your popular genre is R and B, right? Uh, my genre is all kinds of genre. I don't okay, just I don't just I don't just like R and B. Uh, uh, I like hip hop. I like gospel. Mm -hmm. I like African. Mm. I like Jamaican, I like Caribbean, um, Chinese music. As long as it has a good oh, rhythm oh and God. good lyrics, oh, I yeah. listen to. I'm a nationality. Um, I don't okay. just stick with one gender because the world is big. Um, I love all kinds of music as long as it has a good rhythm and good lyrics that I can understand. Um, this is why I'm telling you, when I first came upon your sound, it blew me away. Um, because we're all the same people. We just speak All right, at this, uh, at this stage, let us um, acknowledge the people that, are, that have been waiting and following up. Uh, sure. DJ Matso. <laughs> what is you remember DJ? 
Hello? Yeah. All right, he is an African brother. He is from Zimbabwe and he lives in UK. He's a professional yes. DJ and he works. He has been keeping yes. dates with us and um, he's here. He said, don't rush to the studio if your material is not good. You lose money. And he said that Moses Fuse is a versatile artist. <laughs> yes, very versatile artist. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, so tell, him, tell, him tell him he is very exactly 100% right. Uh, I love all kinds of music, man. I love people, man. You know, um, like okay, when you I, put have you on... tried it uh, from the... Um, Critters, right? Yes, yes. That you featured uh, another, a rapper. Have you I featured know, I have a, any, yes, any yes, his, artist in any of your songs before? Yes, um, I have a, quite a few artists that um that I feature in my songs. Um, rather named by Terrell Burns. Can you be I, a bit um, louder? Or should I use speaker? Uh, uh, I have a couple artists that I have, you know, uh, put on my tracks, which in the song Critters, his name is Luciano, uh, which is Mr. Lou. Uh, okay. I, uh, that single there uh, is featured with one artist on there. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. I'm trying to see if I can connect this to Bluetooth. Okay. All right. Can you hear? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear okay. me? All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. You see, we got many comments okay, coming in. <laughs> yes, okay. I've done plenty live shows. Uh, Okay, that yeah. is one oh, of my. Yeah. No, you're very loud now, sir. Yes, I've done pretty. I've done. Me and the stage is best friends. You know, I won't record if I can't get on the stage and show you what I do, uh, because a lot of times, and I hate to say this, what you do in the studio, a lot of people can't do on stage. And okay, um, okay, you have done live show. If you have done live shows. Where, where, where did you do this? Like I've this? done, I've, I've been in Atlanta, I've been in California, New York, here in Philadelphia, Chicago, uh, Alexander, Virginia, uh, okay. Kentucky. Uh, I have oh, a, yeah. I have Christmas songs with Climax. I don't know if y'all heard of a group called Climax. Um, I have Christmas Any music with them with a compilation. Uh, okay. No, I haven't been. That's one of my biggest goals is to come to Africa to perform. Really? Wow. Um, <laughs> That's uh, great. Like I said, okay, um, we have another artist in the house. Let me just recognize them. I have my manager. My okay. manager is here. Okay. Yes. My manager is here, Joseph Samuel. That's my manager. He's the, the man distributing my content digitally, globally. He works with Africori. So they can distribute your content as well. They are global. Yes. And, and yes. we have here, we have Pittsmore. Pittsmore is my homeboy from my village, <laughs> from my community, he's an artist as well. So, okay. um, and we have DJ Maxo, I think the, okay, DJ Maxo said, you need to come to London to perform. What about that? And this, and listen, let me tell you something. I am okay. right at this point right now. I am getting my passport to come to these different countries. I am ready to come to perform. Um, you give me the date. You make the uh, financial uh, agreements and everything. Cozy Mo Better will be on his flight to come to Atlanta. I Woo! love to perform. I okay, love to travel. Okay, you had that. And thank I am a travel the artist. Is, is washing. <laughs> you can get my single, start playing my music out there. Um, again, uh, I, I, I'd love to go worldwide. Uh, that's okay. my nationality to perform everywhere 
in a part of the world. So I would love to come to London. You know, All to right. perform. Beautiful. We take that. We take that. That is your word and that's your bond. So that's my word. That. Yeah. As long right, so as long let's as let's talk about let's talk about your your song, your newest um, single, Critters. Okay. Okay. That song is an amazing song. What Thank informed you. that content? Because Critters is not is not it, it's kind of an informal word to use on human being, you okay? get? Okay, okay. Let me. Yes. Yeah, right. so, so why? What informed that song? Okay, let me tell you where the song "Critters" came from. Okay, we know the year 2020 means supervision, right? Yeah. 2020 means to be supervision 100. So, for my life, it's 2020 supervision 100. And I feel like when crit people that don't come 100 to you, that don't be straight up with you, that's what they are, critters. And you know what critters are, right? Yeah. So basically, that's where the song critters come from. If you don't come 100 to me, that's what you are, a critter. So <laughs> instead of calling you any... Instead of calling you something out of the context or calling you a name, I think you can you can relate to critters. You know what critters are. Um, okay. So, again, it, it's okay. it's a song. It's it's a song to more or less let people know you can't criticize people for their talent and for the thing that God give them. So, if you can't come one hundred. To that person you're criticizing, that's what you are, a critter. So amazing. Amazing. Yes, real, yes. It's real simple. You know, um, again, like I said, I speak for this song for all the artists in the world that had accomplished everything they wanted to do. Um, okay, right, um, right now we'll be we'll be attending to our viewers, the people that are participating on the program. Pitmo say, "Have you been to stage in Africa?" Pitmo Cosimo Beta said, "No, he has not, but he has planned for it." So we are expecting him in another <laughs> next year. Yeah. So um, DJ Maxo said, "Is your music on any music platform?" As in. Where is your music selling? Where can one buy it? My music is on Amazon. That? My music is on Amazon, Spotify, Twitter, Google Play, Pandora, Xbox All right. Music. All you got to do is Google the name Cozy Mo Better or either Cozy Mo. My music right. is everywhere high in the world. iHeartRadio is everywhere. Yes, this music you can purchase. Okay, uh, like I said, it's on iHeart Radio, Amazon, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, okay. TikTok. It's on all digital outlets out here in the world. All right, DJ, Even no, in, that, that is not critics, it is critters. I am critters. Really, please, I am not uh, an American, so I don't know how they call it critters. I call it critters. That's okay, you can call it critters. <laughs> That's all right with me. <laughs> It's okay with me. Yeah, so it's critters for us. Cause, I love it. Okay, um, Moses, can you type? All right, no, let me respond. No, he, he was asking if the spelling of your name is C O S M O. But that's yeah. not, let me respond. Nah, it's C O Z Y M O. C O Z Y. C O Z Y M O B E T T A. That's Cozy Mo Better. And Cozy Mo is C O Z Y M O E. One word. All right. I'll give him that spelling so that he can get it. Yep. Again, my stage name Cozy Mo Better. C O Z Y M O B E T T A. Right. Cozy Mo. Cozy Mo. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, that's, DJ, you're still not nah, getting to the that's, You're it. still not right. No. Nope. nope. That's not right. Okay. C-O. C-O-Z. 
Y M O E. All right. You got that? I am giving him the spelling. All right, the cozy mo better is C O Z Y M O D E T T A. Okay, uh, DJ said it's hard in America to break through as an artist. All right, so this is your um, song, The Critters. How has it been? Um, how is the acceptability in the market? What digital? Well, see, th this, single, this single is on a compilation album. This single is out by itself. Uh, we had the video that's out. Um, it's going pretty well. Um, I think it could do better. Sometimes you gotta think about the people that's really into the song. Um, you gotta promote it. You gotta market it. Um, and I'm doing a lot of promotion and marketing okay, so, so you're myself on right now. Right. Uh, you know, so um, it's doing pretty good. Um, like I said, it's all on digital outlets. Um, people are streaming it. People are buying it. Um, okay. It's doing well. Um, Right. It just came out not too long. It hasn't been out that long. Um, but I think this single is going to do destiny. It's going to go far. Um, it's going to be a okay, continuation. So, so which of your songs um, actually uh, enabled you to break forth in the industry? Which of your songs, can you say, is the one that actually announced you in the industry? Uh, the, one that, the one that put me on MTV was called The Way I Feel. Um, uh, that was a pretty number hot single. That's still out here today in the world, the way I feel. Um, to be honest, I think I have all great songs. Um, the industry, I think they just signed, I believe they signed me because of my talent and the way I was promoting myself by an independent artist that was investing in himself. Um, it wasn't looking for nobody to give me no, no handout. So... A lot of times, if you want somebody to really believe in you, you got to invest in yourself. Um, to stay out there, to get out there. And that's what I do. I invest in myself. So when I got signed to the industry, I was signed with them for like two and a half years. They did some things for me, which was okay. Um, but I felt like it could have been, been more. Um, so that's why I'm independent now. Um, I deal with a management company, um, only on the management side. But um, yeah, uh, and plus, you know, the thing is, you gotta learn about the business. Once you learn the business in the music industry, you really don't need a record label. I'm sorry to say, because you are the label. You know, you need backing, you need financial, you need, you need endorsements and things of that nature. But if you know how to get shows and really deal with the right people, you could do it all yourself as being an independent artist, as long as you register yourself as an artist. Hmm. Because that's all okay. this what it's about. Because the same thing that the record label is going to do, you need to know how to do. So yes. that's what I have learned. That's what I have learned to do. Once I was signed to the label, I I got great stuff from them, knowledge from them. Um, but again, once you learn the business side. It's really hard for you to convince me to sign with anybody, you know, hmm. because. Um, okay, so how do you how do you relate with your DJs? Do you pay them to play your song when you go to radio stations? At this at this point right now, at this point right now, a lot of my stuff is on internet, then in internet radio. Um, I need my stuff to start going to some of these mainstream radios, but a lot of these places want you to pay them too. Uh, I feel like this, if you want that person music, you can get paid just by accepting their music if you're a DJ. Why do you want to charge the artist if you want their music? Um, we both going to get paid one way or the other if you register. You know, that's just like when an artist go in the studio that's on the music. If you're not registered, why do you expect for me to pay you? You register oh. yourself, you can get royalties. Um, and that's the simplest thing that you have to do. Because I feel like everybody in music needs to be heard in some way or some form or some, some, some kind of way. 
DJs, internet. Um, I think my music really needs to be on the radio because it has a lot of messages to it. Um, and I feel like a lot of stuff that the DJs ask for at these radio stations is nonsense because, and I hate to say this, a lot of the music that they're playing is not music for people ears, you know, um, especially if it's not positive. You know, uh, I, I'm just I'm just that artist that I believe in. I rather accept positive music than negative music, because a lot of day in this time and life, a lot of people want negative music instead yeah. of positive music, and that's what's selling more negative music. But yeah. I'm just not that artist going to give you that negative music. I'm going to give you something positive for you to comp, Mr. Allop. So. As long as I struggle with the positive, this is what I'm going to do. And it's going to make no. it that way. Because, look, my music made it right here to Africa with you. And it's being positive. So I think as long as I keep being the artist that I'm being, my music is going to get out here in the world to people. So I don't okay. have to go underground. DJ, you know? DJ Maxwell is uh, saying if the content is good, it can be shared and played for free. All right. Um, amazing. Thank you, DJ, for doing all that. And I wish every DJ can be like you because all of your colleagues are not like you. This is the reality in the streets of Africa, especially. You have to. And um, I, I see it as paying your dues. You have to pay your dues. All right. You have okay, to pay so, your dues. Yeah, you have to pay your dues. Right now, um, Moses. Do you yes. have a band or you rent? Do you have a band? I, um, I, mean band, I had, I, well, I had a, well, I used to, I'll put it like this. I had a band we're called Assumption. They used to play oh, behind what? me, play for me. Uh, they were, they were great musicians. Um, will I ever use them again? Yeah, if we have great shows that I can pay them. Um, because they're, they had a band that helped me play some of my music because a lot of okay, my music okay. is band or playing. This this guys a band group on their own. Then you use them to play and you pay them, or are you the one that puts them together? Are you the one that builds? I'm the I'm the I'm the one that paid them financially. I'm the way oh. that got shows together, put them on shows. I'm the one oh, that got wow. them and my music to go in the studio. Um, wow. they were my, wow. they were my band. Um, I wow. just, I just, uh, recently just took a, a stand back from the band because why? Do you rent equipment or you own it yourself? Say that again. Do you rent music equipment for rehearsals and your shows or you, you, you own the equipment? Oh, uh, we own is... our own equipment. The, we we own yes. our own equipment. Yeah. Uh, when we went to perform, I had a production manager, which goes by okay. the name of Paul. Uh, he puts he put it all that together for me. Um, whenever we have to perform and thing of that nature, he made sure the band was right where we had to go and thing. And they, they, like I said, they're a great band. They're wow. some great brothers. Um, but sometimes you got to just step back and look at things to make sure this is what you want in life um because it's hard being with a band um it really is um it can be very stressful sometimes uh yeah. because some, every, everybody have to be on the same page and yeah. every, if everybody's not on the same page then it won't work um so again like i said we had a couple we have a couple songs that they played for me the music for which is living without your love um the way I feel, cozy Christmas. Um, we have a couple songs from the band that I have put out okay. with the band. Um, All right, these guys. Are you guys living in the same um, city? Like, uh, if if their location is far, do you pay them for rehearsals, or they come for rehearsals and they go and, and they get paid only for the gig? Well. I felt like this. This was my thing. I'm not paying for you no rehearsals. Because why? You're getting paid for the shows. 
Secondly, you're on these songs. So why should I have to pay for you for something that you already played? I'm paying oh. you to come to I'm paying you to come to the show. I'm paying you to be on stage. I'm not paying you for no rehearsal. Why? Why should I have to pay you for rehearsal when you're on this song? Now, if you was a paid hired band, then that's something different. But if we call ourselves a group, no, I'm not paying for you for no rehearsal at all. You're supposed to rehearsal. How do you think you're supposed to get good on stage? You got to practice. You think you're just going to yeah. go out on stage without practicing? No, you're not going to get paid for practice. No. Performance? Okay. Yes. Studio time? Right. No. Because I have to pay money for studio time. If you're on this song and you're playing an instrument, you're part of this song. You're getting royalties for this song. So why should I have to pay for you to go in the studio and pay for rehearsal? No. That's crazy. Amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> I really yeah. like this answer. Simple yeah, as crazy. Sweet. I don't pay you to rehearse for what you want to do. But it's doing, right? You only like, get paid for shows. You get paid yeah. for shows. You don't get paid for studios. You don't get paid for rehearsals. That's just real simple. All right. If okay. I got to pay you for rehearsal, right. if I got to pay you to be in the studio, now if I'm giving you somebody else's music for you to play, then that's something different. But if you're creating this track with me, no, I'm not paying you because your creativity right. is on here. And you can take okay, this to other people and say, this is what I'm doing. People hear you playing. That's you. Not me playing. That's you playing. Now, if I gave you somebody else's music to play it, for you to play, yes, you're supposed to get paid that way. Yes. Because mm. you're learning somebody else's okay. material. You understand what I'm saying? It's a difference learning your own material than somebody else's material. You understand what I'm I saying? Mean, it's a big difference. Yeah, sure. I, I get that. DJ Max has said your Cosimo beta is not on Spotify. So you rectify that out uh, after sort it out after this, this program. Your songs you got... need to be on Spotify and every store. Well, let, I'm trying. I'm sorry that DJ's saying that because my music is on Spotify. It's on Amazon. I don't know what. Maybe, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what he's putting in. Maybe he's putting the wrong song in. <laughs> he got to be, because my EP is on there and my single. So okay, I'm sorry, you DJ. Can, you you must be if you can it wrong. Link, if you can share the link on the comments below, you can share the link. It will be perfect. Or after the program, you share the link because he needs to get hand on it. Thank you very much. Tell me, All right. Tell, the the tell, industry, tell industry me line. I'm Hello. sorry. What did you say? The industry life in the United States of America, 2020 has been um, a, a, a horrible year for the music industry. In fact, the whole entertainment industry. How did it affect you as an artist? Well, it um it affected me for a minute because I thought it it should I thought my stuff should I thought my stuff should, I should have been more places than what I was where I, what was going on with me. I felt like the industry they helped me out to a certain extent. Uh. Like I said, I was with them for about two and a half years, and I was promised more things than things happened. Um, so like I said, it's a learning experience sometimes that you got to learn when you go through it. Um, but they was good in some way, in some way they wasn't good. Okay. Um, so I got with another management company, um, which was this year. They applied me with shows right from the door mm. uh right right from the door when i signed with her right from the door she had shows ready for me um right from okay. the door okay um everything that she spoke about 
it was all agree. It was all it was straight up front. So, like I said, sometimes when you go to one company, I don't know why things didn't happen the way they're supposed to happen. Um, but I know when I went to the next management company, um, things happened. Um, I don't know what he's writing. All right, okay. Um, DJ Max, uh, joining us live from London City. He said, I have listened to some of your materials. They are good. This is the reason why I was asking. I have a premium accounts with Spotify and it will be interesting to preview your works. Thank you, DJ. <laughs> Thank you so much for the preview. Thank you. All right, so we'll proceed. What is life outside music like? What else do you do outside music? Life besides outside now my, my personal life? <laughs> no. My personal As, if no music what else you are you doing another thing are you on paid job or like you're an entrepreneur what else you're doing outside i have music? i have i have, I have um I, I have a clothing line that i'm getting ready to um get into um some merch and stuff in that nature um that's what i'm basically working on at this point right now and some cologne Sorry. can you can you repeat i'm basically i'm i'm working on the clothing line Right, oh. and I'm right, and I'm also working on a cologne for Cozy Mo Better at this point right now, outside Amazing. of music. Um, yes, and you know, um, my social life. You know, I'm I'm t going on 21 years of marriage, uh, with a beautiful wife, which she's in my videos. Hold on, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said 21. I'm going on 21 years of marriage. Yes, yes, I am a married, yes, I am a married artist. Um, Amazing. I, this artist is not as young as I look. Um, I've been around for a minute. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I do have, I am married. I, you know, so if any of you guys want to know if I was single or not, no, I'm happily married, going on 21 years. Uh, unfortunately, we have any children. I do have two children, though. They're two kitties. One name is Cozy, and the other name is Lexus. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically that's, that's my life. Um, I, I'm also a cook, um, in a restaurant. I do restaurant work too. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I live a very happy life. <laughs> you are a very happy very, man. Congratulations. Great. It's, I have it. You know, let right. me say something. Let me say something. Order for you to do, order for you to put out good music and to meet good people, you have to live a good life. You have to go, have a, a good conscious life, a good conscious, you know what I mean? Because you can't generate good stuff if you don't have a good conscious. So, this is yes, I agree with that. You gotta have a good conscious to create good music and to meet good people. So, you know, uh, yeah, I have, I have a wonderful life. I'm not the richest man in the world, but I'm happy. You know, <laughs> this is the most know, important thing, that you are happy and you are contented then you can yes. give us good content because you cannot give what you don't have right yes right and for one thing i do i wanted to all the viewers out there that's listening if you want to be in this music industry you have to believe in yourself and have faith that's all i can tell you and be all right are you connected to bongo bongo boy Records. Bongo Boy Records, yes I am. Bongo Boy Records has my music on a compilation album, okay? So Critters is on Bongo Boy Records as a compilation, on their compilation album. And the single is out. That's why I said, I don't know why he was saying it's not on Spotify and everything else. Uh, he just wasn't putting uh, in the right thing. You know, um, if he put in Cozy Mo, he'll, he'll see where all the music that I was signed with, the art, the label that I was signed with, my music is still yeah, in distribution. Yeah, he, he, he got it. He got it. He has actually played some of your songs. He, he, he tweeted last time that he just
Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. All right. I'm here. Okay, so this Bongo Boy Records, they are your content distributors. Nah, they just one of the persons that have put my music in distribution. Okay, they you are not signed with them Bo to distribute your content. I'm not signed to no I'm not signed to nobody. Right. I, I am a, right. I am so, an independent art I'm an independent artist to mm -hmm. sign to no label. All right. Beautiful. See, that's okay, the so thing about that, distribution. Okay. So the the people distributing this thing is it exclusive like uh you're signing with them now they have you on their content distribution can another company distribute it is there is that a violation of no, it's no violation. Um, you can get with any distribution company, um, oh. even if even if you were the label. Um, if you were the label, label should have their own distribution. Um, yeah. But if you're an independent artist, you can find distribution companies. You can find record labels that do distribution. Like for one, Bongo Boy Records is a record label, but they do have okay. platform for distribution. My distribution company that I deal with is TuneCore. That's who's distribution my music now, which is TuneCore. Um, they're not a record label. They're a distribution company. Um, okay. Again, you don't have to be in a record label to get worldwide distribution. This oh. is the business that you have to learn. See, see, this is what I'm saying. Everybody at this point in time that wants to get to a record label, you don't need a record label to get distribution. You find okay. distribution companies to distribute your music. Yes, you have to pay for distribution uh, oh. if you want to be on these platforms. Um, and that's what I do. I'm paying for distribution. Okay. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So, unlike her, if you give um, a company your content to distribute, it's somehow exclusive for some moments, you cannot give it to another company or you cannot put it on. It depends on, sometimes depends on, it depends on the distribution. The distribution, if the distribution tells you, you can't use no other company names but theirs, then that's their, oh, okay. that's their rule. But if you're not with a record label, you could distribute your music with any distribution company, you know. Um, some distribution only accept you if you're with a record label, and some distribution companies won't. Won't right. accept you. It. You know, like, like for, um, for instance, for instance, let me say this. For instance, if you try to get your music to BET, they only deal with record companies, record labels. If you went to MTV, they only deal with record labels. So you couldn't come in on an independent artist trying to put your stuff on MTV or BET. They deal with record labels. Um, it's different. It's different venues that will accept your music, that put it out there oh. in the world. Okay, so like, like uh, what, distri what distribution company are you using? Myself. Yeah. Do you have a distribution company? Yes, I use Africuri. Africuri. Okay. Who are they under? Who Who are they under? Who do they? Who did they distribute from? Where the you mean their base? Their main distributor, yeah. Is it is it tone core? Is it sound base or is it is it Sony or what platforms? Oh yeah, the um, um, iTunes, uh, Apple Music. Uh, okay. Amazon, uh, T and a lot of. All the major stores, and then you know, so that's that's through company. your man that's through your management company, right? No, they are content only digital content. That's all they do for you, digital content. Yeah. Okay, so, so they do all your digital content distribution. Okay, I have my big brothers, High Sense, Ko and Java on Rebel. Thank you for coming on the program. 
Ekele, thank you for coming on the program. And my husband is watching live. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming on the program. Uh, Master, most, thank you. You can see that all my people, even um, one of our politicians, everybody's here watching. <laughs> all right. Okay, so how do you handle piracy? Is there a structure huh? that you cannot... Piracy, piracy, how privacy, does piracy privacy. Okay, P privacy, okay, see. <laughs> Not For privacy, I think piracy, piracy as in like someone pirates your content without your consent. Well, uh, sometimes that's out of your control. Uh, yeah. As long as something that you know that you didn't do and you didn't apply to it, I handled it pretty well. Uh, I have many people tried to use my name or use my, just a fa as Facebook page. Um, oh. You don't like it. You don't like it at first, but sometimes it's out of your control because the internet's going to be the internet. Um, yeah. So that's why you have to watch what you put up, things that you say, people that you deal with. So. I handle it pretty well. I handle it pretty well. I leave it to the hands of the man upstairs. That's how I handle it. Alright. Okay. Okay, let me take some suggestions from our viewers. Okay. Honorable said, watching you live. It's great. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, Other, other comments. Okay, while they are coming on with their comments, let me. Yes, DJ Max, the piracy kills the music industry. Yes, it does. For yes, just it does. like Moses said, sometimes it's out of your control. Yeah, sometimes it's out of your control. Yeah. DJ, you just have to stay development. Can you have your view on how to handle piracy? As an artist like Moses and I, how can I, what do I do? You just have to stay positive. You know, you have to stay positive. Regardless, you know. I am asking you know, the DJ because um, many DJs uh, are on this table. Seriously. And it kills because you, you spend money in studio, you write your content, you do all the errands. At the end of the day, someone else sets it up, make money with it. You can't just see that's, see, that's why, see, this is why being an artist, that's why paperwork come in line. Um, that's why you must do paperwork. So you won't go into that. When you don't do legit paperwork, you fall into these traps, to these holes, to these loopholes. When you don't do the correct paperwork. When you go into these studios, a lot of times you tell the producer that you're dealing with, I want to sign a split sheet. So that means you don't have a problem putting my music out. I don't have a problem putting that music out. And you can't put my music out unless I gave you the permission to put it out. So a lot of times when you don't do documentation the correct way, you're going to run into that. That's why it kills the music industry, because people don't follow procedures the way they're supposed to follow. You know, um, you learn, you live. Because all of us have to go through things to understand some things. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why I said you have to deal with it. Sometimes it's out of your hand, and sometimes it is in your hand. So you have to protect yourself so you don't go through this. But a lot of us All don't right. know from the beginning. You know, okay. like I said, okay. a lot of, you, <laughs> you got to go through some stuff to know some stuff. You know, yeah. and that's just what it is, you know, in this business. You know? All right, so far that you have done some... Uh, collaborations with some artists like moving forward which artists would you like to collaborate with 
Well, my biggest collaboration, I would like to do something with, with Neo. You know what I mean? The solo artist, solo soul song writer out here, the name. Neo. Y'all know who Neo is. Um, I'd love to do some music with him. But Cozy Mo Better is open to, you know, to share and compilate with any artist out here in the world that has a great sound, uh, willing to do the work, put it in. And, and make some make some music, you know. What I mean, um, I love to collaborate with people. Uh, that's just my gender. I love to. I love to work with people. Uh, all great ideas. It helps the creativity. What God gave you, you don't know the stuff that you can come up with. You know, sometimes you got to sit back and look at yourself and be like, "Wow, did I just create that? I took that one word and created to that. That's amazing." It's amazing how you could take one word and create it to a song. It, it, it's amazing, you know. How great is gift is that? You can't learn that in a book. It has to be put in you from the man upstairs. You can't be taught to sing. You can't be taught to sing. It has to be in you. It just has to. When people say, oh, they teach you to sing. No, you cannot be taught to sing. It has to be in you. Yeah. You just right. have to yeah. develop it. Okay. So, um, okay, let me ask you one funny question. What is it, a talent that you know you have, but you're not using it? At, I, ha, I know I have this talent, but this talent is literally useless to me. Do you have such? Because you're, let me tell you why. Why people feel like that. When you don't believe in yourself, that's what happens. Because people can say they got so much talent, but if you don't believe in yourself to do it, it's never going to go nowhere. And you can't right, listen to other I people. You can't, you can't. I have the talent that I have. The yeah. talent that I've had, I've used it. And I've been using oh. it. Oh. Um, I've been using it, um, and I'm using it more um, to spread it to the world. Um, I know that's my talent and my gift, uh, because the gift that I thought I had, I'm not doing that. Because anything that God gives you that's true gift, you're going to continue on doing it. Yeah. And you're going to love All everything right. that you do about it. Okay, how do you feel the internet has impacted the music business? Um, the, the this era of internet, can you say it's positive? It has impacted on the music industry positively or negatively? Uh, and what are the impacts you feel? This one is negative. This one is positive. And then imagine it together. What is the percentage? You how know, you let me say this. To be honest, the only music I really believe that that's encouraging people is gospel music. I'm going to be honest with you. Because a lot of music today, not saying your music or my music, because me and your music, it's hard to get out there the way we wanted to get out there. And the music that's yeah. out here in the day, it's encouraging kids to do crazy stuff. So I say the biggest encouraging music that's really out there right now is Christian music. And a lot of people are doing Christian raps to capture the people because the music industry right now is suffering. They're suffering with a lack of knowledge of what should be out here in the world today. Um, it's not like it used to be. You know, it's just not. <laughs> Because like I told you, a lot, of the, a lot of this industry, they want this negative stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm not for it. I'm sorry. I'm not for it. You know, uh, I got to keep putting out that love music and understanding music. Um, that's just for me. Um, okay. I can't stoop okay, myself. So Okay, which of your songs? Uh, I know 
all your content, you like them, you admire them, but which particular one do you like performing on stage when you're performing live, not minding? Which of your songs do you like performing that I loved on stage? Yeah. Uh, living, living without your love. Living without your love. <clears throat> that's what my band, that's the song that I wrote for my wife. Um, I love performing that song. Um, what, what song is that? Living without your love. Living without your love. Yes. That song is YouTube. That your song? It, Yes, I wrote um yes, that's what me and my band or okay. something. Ooh, go, ooh, go fresh it. <laughs> go go fresh to go to go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Put in cozy mo. You put in cozy yeah. mo, that song's gonna that song that video and everything's gonna come up. By cozy mo. Put it, yeah. By put cozy mo. C O Z Y M O A. But in cozy yeah. mode, and the song is called "Living Without Your Love." The video and all. Living without your love, cozy more. Okay, why he's getting that done? Yep. Yeah. Um. Let's let just you know. Really Have you ever gotten into trouble in this music industry? No. No. Oh, that's the great thing. That's that's the great thing about. That's what I'm saying. That's the great thing about uh, being in this music with me. Uh, I don't adapt myself to some of the worldly stuff that's in this music industry. Um, I think I, I thank God because of the wife that I got and the lifestyle that I lived. I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to be in the tabloids. You understand know okay. what I'm saying? Only. Only news that I want to, for people to know about that I did a great show or whatever, besides negativity. Um, okay. All right, so, so what can you say is the best um, advice you've received so far? In this music, being in this music yes. industry, just be yes. yourself. Be oh, yourself. Amazing. Amazing. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Be nice to people. And have consideration, and you'll go far. Be nice yeah. to people. Okay. That's what I tell people in this music industry. Regardless what comes towards you, just be yourself. Uh, be nice. Be pleasant um, to people. I am sure that you are not a hundred percent satisfied with the music industry in USA and the globe. Um, if you have chance, what can you change? What do you need to change? So if I had the chance in the music industry to uh, to change anything, to change anything, yeah, uh, I would change the sound of the music. Um, I would want more positive music um, to be out there. Um, if I had anything to do with the industry, um, because again, people. People really do take your music, and sometimes people use it for their livelihoods. Um, people do get passion from your lyrics. Um, so I think when you put something out in this music industry, I think it should be something positive. Um, I would accept more positive than negative. That's just, okay. that's just, if I could change anything, that's what I would do. And I think it would be better. Um, I would. I, I think I think the industry will be much better. I okay. think you will have more so, listeners. Um, I think you will have more people wanting to be involved with the music industry if you have more positive music out there. You know, um, you got you got artists out here that's making millions and millions of dollars, killing one another over what? Over nothing. Why? Because of the type of kind of sound that you're putting out. You know, why should you have animosity at me because you're making a million dollars? I made a million dollars last night, too. So that gives me a reason to kill you. For what? It's the mindset that y'all listening, stuff that y'all listening to. Um, okay. 
I don't get it. Um, and the record labels are the one are providing these artists out here like this. You know, um, it's a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, so what um the time we've spent so far? Thank you so much for coming on the program. What is the message you are giving to your fans and the people that look up to you, like their own mother? What uh, the message today? The message began, like I said, for a lot of my true fans that that they know from Cozy Mo Better, that Cozy Mo Better don't do nothing but love people, and and to continue on loving people, and just reaching out to different nationalities. That's not your culture. Um, mm. Learn one another, um, because. Again, when you're being nice to people, it takes you places that you've never been before. Um, from where I started in this music industry and where I'm at now, where I'm going, it's still blowing my mind because the things that I have accomplished from this music, um, I mean, it's beautiful. So I, for me to tell any artist again, just be yourself, think positive, and treat people with respect and dignity. And most of all, be honest. That's the most important thing. Because in this music industry, there's a lot of crooks. And if you don't spot them, you will get swallowed. So that's just, that's just what it is. You know, um, if I wasn't an honest person, I wouldn't be on here with you. God knows my honesty. Um, my music brought me on here to you. Um, our communication um, is genuine. And that's what you got to be. And you'll make it in this music industry. You will make it. You just got to believe and keep the faith and keep pushing. You know, that's all I can say. You know, oh, um, thank you. Thank you very much. This is, this listen, is really... Listen, this is outstanding. Today. Okay, right before we go, there's this question I've been wanting to ask for, you know, this I didn't write it down, but let me just ship it in. There are a whole lot of artists and talents that are voicing seriously on the, in the spot of this Black Lives Matter movement. What is your view about that? Say that one more time. <clears throat> Say that one more time. All right. There are a whole lot of black talents in America. Yeah. There are crusaders for Black Lives Matters. Okay. All right. Listen. Yes. All right. Look. Okay. You okay. Don't... Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Um, see, I really don't get into politics. I try to stay out of this type of kind of um, Black Lives Matter because everybody matter. Um, what matters if you're negative or positive? And what matters to me, it doesn't matter if you're black, green, orange, yellow, purple. I don't care. As long as you're positive, and you're being 100. You're being positive and being 100. If you're neither one of those two, get away from me. It can be black or green. It can be green. It could be orange. But the thing is, when you say black lives matter, then why did my brother just go out there and kill that brother? So we got to start thinking about each other. And not saying what the other man is doing to us. We have to start loving one another. And then we can start pointing the fingers at other people. But it starts with us first. So that's what matters to Moses Aaron Fields, a.k.a. Cosimo Better. It's about being perspective Thank and honest. You. Okay? Um, and that's for the world. You know, um... That's the way I was raised. I didn't. I wasn't raised on a color. 
I was raised on respecting people. That was my household from my daddy and my mother. Uh, rest in peace to my father. Um, Big ups to him. Yeah, um, that's the way I was raised. So everything that I'm telling you is genuine. Um, so yeah, that's that's me about Black Lives Matter. Um, so again, all right, we your, gotta, view, your view is very valid and it's already correct. So. Thank you very much, Moses Fuse, for coming to the program. It's mind blowing. <laughs> no, it was an Seriously. honor. It was an honor. It was an honor you having me on your platform. Um, you just and don't know. Me and me and my homies, we expect this, and, and, to and, see and, 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 and everybody, every everybody that tuned in, if you guys are listening or saying, I humbly, humbly thank you guys for your feedback. For your suggestions and your vices, um, I love everybody that came on here. DJ, we're going to talk. I'm going to email you. you all you got to do is yes, inbox yes. me your email. I'll send you my music personally where you don't have to go to Spotify, okay, or uh, Amazon. So I can do that for you because I know you're going to play my music. So, yes. again, if you would like to give me your email, DJ, just inbox me, right. and I'll get you the music personally from Cozy Mo Better. All right? All right. All right. Thank you very much, Cozy Mo Better. I, please, I, I hope to see you and DJ Max to connect and run things because they, this is the biggest network we're going to form, you know? Yeah, and this, this was, this was amazing. So let's get connected. Let's get this rolling. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, because I want to I want to come out there to perform. Um, we got to make this happen. We got to make this happen. Um, we have to make this happen, man. We got to make this happen. So let's do it in everything in our power to get Cozy Mo Better out there because Cozy Mo Better wants to come. No, uh, I'm like this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this to you. Let me say this. See? A lot of a lot of artists or a lot of people in the world, they always think about big money, right? Yeah. I'm an artist. I don't think like that. You got me hotel room. You got me food to eat, a room and board, place to stay when I come out there to perform. Cozy more better there. All right? <laughs> I would do that for you guys because I love each and every one of y'all that's out there. Because um, y'all on another side, another side of the town, um, that one day I can't wait to get there. All right? Y'all right. love y'all. Right. Y'all got my heart. Only thing I just yeah. asked y'all to do, I just asked everybody to go get that music. Play them videos, buy those singles, and support Cozy right. Mo Better. That's all. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this is where we draw the curtain. This is where we bring the show to the end. Big thanks to everyone that tuned in. Big thanks to all the members of All Nations Arise and Manifest group, all our fans and friends all over the globe. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Yemeshi, from my home. Thank you, DJ Maxwell. Thank you, everyone. And from me and Moses, we say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love everyone. See ya. Yeah.